Hey friends, this is Steven from Make It Rad, back in the 2023 Airstream Globetrotter today. And I'm going to cover something that I call the twin bed USB mod. So join me as we journey over here. So in the 27 foot Globetrotter twin bed model, you have obviously an aisle way and two twin beds. And because this is more of a modern interior, they like to hide things like electrical outlets and ports. So this comes with a USB and electrical for each person or each bed. And there's a problem. And the biggest problem is the port is way down there. Probably can't even see it or focus in on it there. But it's way down there. You can see the you can see the electrical outlet and the port. And when you try to plug something in there from way up here, let's go ahead and get in the nightstand here. We'll get our trusty standard USB plug. And unless you're gonna move the whole bed, this is a challenge. So you have to come in here, feel around, and because it's USB, it can go in a couple different ways. And I just happened to get lucky on that one, but you can see how that's like resting up against the mattress. Let's do that. So it's just kind of jammed in there. It's, it's not a great design. And then you've got the power outlet there as well. So the solution I've come up with, and I've installed it over here, but I'll run through the install on the other side so you can see it, is I 3D printed a little 90 degree block that angles those up. So let me pull this one out. So this is much easier. You just pop this open. You can see the USB ports pointing up with the cover. And you twist that around the right way. And it pops in like that. And you can now see that it's no longer pushing up against the mattress. The only downside to this is there's potential for it to get in the way of those out, uh, 110 outlets, but you can move this cord front back. This really goes right in the center though, so it's not too bad. You can also rotate that port out to where the USB, these are off center here and you can rotate it to the right a little bit if you wanted to, but this way um, the little cover over the USB port goes towards the outlets on the left and doesn't get in your, it gets in your way a little bit less, let's call it that. So today I'll cover the port that I printed, how to install it, and you know, some various, this actually comes out pretty easy. You do have to remove the top of the nightstand. Um, so the first step in removing the nightstand is to pull the drawer out. That's pretty easy. All you do is pull the drawer out like normal. And on the bottom, there's two little red clips that you just pull in and then pull the drawer out just like this. And those little red handles are what you pull in, those release the drawer. There's one on each side, as you can see. Once that is out, just push these right back in. There's two screws at the front and one in the back. And I'll put a picture of how to get those out. So let me take those out real quick. So now that we have those three screws out, the top of this will just lift right up. And really what we want to do is just tilt it up so we can get access to the two screws that are on that USB port. Now with Airstreams, when you get behind these things, you'll see a bunch of wiring. It's usually messy. They build these really quick. Um, you could take the opportunity to clean up the wiring if you wanted, but for this case, we'll just go ahead and get to that USB port. It just lifts right off. And now you can see we have access to these two screws on the USB port. So I'll just go ahead and get those taken out of there. So we've removed the, or at least unscrewed the top of the nightstand. And what I do is I use the drawer of the nightstand to go ahead and organize, keep all the screws handy. You can see that there's two longer ones that go in the front and that one shorter one goes on an L bracket in the back. And I can show you that. There's also the two screws for the USB port we just removed. Um, let's see if I can focus in on those. One thing to note is those are standard screws and really those USB ports are set up to have countersunk screws and I'll show you that. Um, maybe I'll get some b-roll of that but you can take a quick look at the port 
right there. Why Airstream uses the standard screws when those are meant to be countersunk, I don't know. It's just sort of something. I guess they just have a bin that they use that they use whatever screws they have handy. So <laughs> kind of just a quirky thing there. Um, here are the black and red leads coming from that USB port into some Wago connectors. I think that's how you say that. These are pretty handy because you've got, they can easily add, remove just by flipping the little lever on these. So on the Airstream, white is ground. So that goes to the black and then usually another color is positive. In this case, black goes to red. So if you do this, make sure you make note of which wires each these come off of. Um, the USB on the other side is just the same. Red to black and white to black. So <laughs> kind of interesting. So what we do here, I'll try to do this one handed, is we just open up this lever on these way goes and that pops right out and then this one should pop right out for the red. And those, those stay just like that. And so now we're ready to lift this USB right out like that. So one of the reasons I made that hole on that 3D printed part so large is you can see that the wires here are offset. They don't come right out the center there. So something to, it's probably not gonna focus on that, but you can kind of see it. There is the cutout. So you've got two holes and then one hole and then obviously they, <laughs> They come down the side of it for the same reason to handle those wires that aren't centered. So just want to give you guys a quick look where we are. The next steps are going to be installing the USB port right there onto this 3D printed L bracket that I made right there. So here you can see the countersunk screws on the left that I will be using for the USB port and the original Airstream screws on the right. I'll reuse those Airstream screws on the actual 3D printed part going back into the cabinet. So um, just need to get two more little screws like on the left, preferably countersunk, but maybe if you use the standard ones, that's okay. Airstream seemed to think it was just fine. So just need a couple screws for this modification. So now we will reinstall the USB port that has been installed on this elbow piece using countersunk screws, we will reuse the original Airstream screws that went into the cabinet for the last piece of the installation. And that's it for the install. The only thing we have left to do is hook up the electronics. One thing to note is I did make the depth of this about the same depth as a USB port, but you may want to consider going to the hardware store and getting some longer screws. These work fine, it's very secure, but there is plenty of space in there for a longer screw and it screws into the through the cabinet and there's really nothing back there if you really wanted to make it more secure there. And the last piece of this is just hooking the electronics back up. Now once again, remember, in this case, black goes to red. Black is your hot 12 volt lead on the Airstream. We just insert this back into the Wago connector, making sure that the insulation goes right in there. So you, right like that. And then our white goes to black. As intuitive as that seems, but that's the way it is. And that's it. And at this point, you just wanna test out the USB port. Make sure when you plug in your phone or any other device that it works. In this case, we'll just do this real quick. And we have charge, we're all set. Unplug that real quick and the next step will be returning this nightstand back to uh, its original home location So just to make sure we cover it. I know I mentioned three screws earlier in the video There's first screw is right there. That's one of the longer white screws Second one is there and then there's an L bracket back there and that's it Just those three little screws you want to make sure you get that line back up make sure that these aren't making new holes and you can just put the screw down there and wiggle it around and it, you'll see when it kind of sinks down and you'll know you're right back where it originally went. And that's all there is to resecuring the nightstand. To reinstall the drawer, all we do is slide those sliders out. We put this on top and pull it forward until it snaps. You will see little holes drilled in each corner of the back of the drawer that those rails snap into and then they will snap into this bracket 
right here. So you pull each one out, you set the drawer on top, and then you just hold those at the bottom, slide your drawer and you hear that first snap, two more, make sure it's all in there real well, that's all there is to it. So now that our installation is complete, you can see we have the nightstand reinstalled and each side of the bed now has USB ports that nicely, once you take the cap off, point upwards, which is great. It's really easy to plug in your items now, your USB ports, your phone, your watches, whatever it might be, and they aren't pressed up against the mattress. They're not being pinched in there and it's you just pop them right out just like that facing upwards like I said the only challenge it might present is if you use those 110 outlets but really you can just move the cables right to the middle and plug those right in from from my experience so far so hope you enjoyed it I will post up that uh, STL file for the 3d printed model and enjoy thanks for watching please subscribe if you like this content cheers friends take care